We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to day 18 of the Phantom Menace. we we'll take a look at some Phantom Menace card backs from the Vintage Collection. Uh, there's been quite a few releases over the years, um, dating back to, I think the first little lot came out in 2011, um, maybe even early 2012, it was around, you know, just before the 3D release, I remember picking up the first full, the full wave of uh, Phantom Menace action figures from a Kmart, uh, I remember racing there first thing in the morning, I'd gotten the tip off that were there, uh, yeah, that was a that was a fun day, but yeah, so... For most people that don't know, I do sort of keep a lot of card backs. Some some have sort of, you know, made their way to the bin over the years. But I thought we'd just take a look at some of the cards that have come out for the Phantom Menace over the years. Here it was Qui Gon Jinn. You could do, you could probably do with a re-release and a little bit of photo reel. I don't think the figure's too bad, but you know, it'd be nice to. Nice to see them upgraded. Here's all the figures from that wave. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got them all in one hit. Which at 15 bucks each, that was only 150 bucks. So it wasn't too bad. So I think we've got most of these card backs right here. So we'll take a look through. See, so yeah, Qui-Gon Jinn, he was VC75. Hard to believe we're, you know, we're bearing down on 350. It's We're, we're past... Sort of 310, I think we're up 320 at the, at the time of recording this. Darth Maul, he has had a re-release. I would love to see a brand new Darth Maul. Black Series is getting one. VC86, that's when they still had some of the vehicles to... That was cool. I did have a second one. This one's got the, uh, got the sticker on it. Don't know why. Why I kept it, but I did. I don't know why I had two. I can't remember. Uh, the uh, Naboo Royal Guard put the character debut. I wish they still did this. Um, but there'd be a lot of stickers these days. So there's <laughs> so much new property. Um, I guess, yeah, it'd be a, there'd be a lot of those stickers that take away the specialness of it. So yeah, VC83 for the... Naboo Royal Guard, and that was a good figure. That was a that was a nice one. Let's see Hasbro do a like a little army builder pack of those guys. Another character debut for Dolte Dauphine. This was a this was a great figure. It still is one of the better of the Nemoidian figures we've had. VC eighty two that one. We have Queen Amidala herself in sort of the black outfit. This one has had a re release. I uh, got sort of got the photo reel treatment just a couple of years ago. A bit of a strange one to re release, but you know, it was a good opportunity for a lot of people that missed it the first time they come around, like this one here. So that was that was a nice thing. Now the battle droid. This I don't know. I'm still up in the air about how I like this figure. Um, it it doesn't look too bad. It's just very, very tender little, little figure. Really, um, not enough battle droids come out. I don't think. It's <laughs> I'd love to see more battle droids. You know, getting released and just sort of standard ones like this. I even do a do an Um Nine. The other. The battle droid with the sort of the yellow markings from Phantom Menace. You have Darth Sidious. Love that card back on that Phantom Menace card. Do it. Um, yeah, VC-79. Still the unpunched. Which doesn't really matter because the figure's been cut off the bubble. But yeah, I just like that image. I think that looks... It's a great look at Darth Sidious probably the best look we really get at him aside from being like in a hologram except Obi-Wan Kenobi I think this is one figure that definitely needs an upgrade I think the figure itself was at, the, at this point I think it was even you know quite a few years old and definitely aged by today's standards 
yeah doesn't need a re-release just needs a complete redo from the ground up put it on a new phantom menace card i think that would be cool or use the same card just put a new figure on it i think that would be good i'd rather see something different but yeah, I love that picture of uh, Obi-Wan there. You know, one of my personal favourites, Ben Quadaneros and Otaga. Otoga 222. Character debut. This one. A lot of a lot of pressure from Kyle Newman on Hasbro to put this guy out. <laughs> he was very much an advocate to get a get a bon, Ben Quadraneros on a vintage card back in the day. And uh, it worked. It freaking worked he got he made it happen and we have this insane fantastic beautiful action figure i think he's really cool vc81 and uh yeah another another sidious card we have young anakin skywalker and this one has had a re-release in recent years too with a little bit of a photo reel update it's again good for those that that missed his initial release but love to see a just a just a paddle uh, just a slave Anakin on a vintage card. Just a nice little update. I think would be good. You know, Rats Terrell in the uh, the seconds before his explosive death. It's literally him realizing that's his life flashing before his eyes. Like you can see it in that eyeball. The terror. He's got his hands up. But there's uh, probably not many other scenes you could have drawn a picture from. So that was an interesting one. VC-77. And last but not least, Quinlan Voss. You know, obviously this character came came much later. It was just an extra that seemed to seemed to draw people in. And, uh, yeah, they based his story on, on this sort of background character that's just sort of sitting there at the bar as Jar Jar has that confrontation with um, Sebulba. Yeah, it's a kind of a blink it and you'll miss it. But uh, yeah, the Quinlan Voss has become one of my favourite Jedi. He's had some fantastic stories come out over the years. Yeah, yeah VC-85. So yeah, we have a bunch of Phantom Menace cards, guys. I hope you enjoyed checking these out today. And some more videos coming up very soon. Until then, may the Force be with you always. Mm -hmm.